copyright notices if you wish to read pause the video the original videos are linked in the description down below enjoy all right then so in this one we're going to be looking at vehicle quitting what is vehicle quitting and what does it mean in this one a, a guy gets out of his car to record the police being more uh, in his eyes using unreasonable force to arrest uh, a child it was in the last video he mentioned it in there which got me curious to see what he was on about but we'll just get straight into it and we'll break it down Cross, yeah, I know. And yeah. you've left your engine running, that's vehicle quitting. Is it? Yeah, so I'll tell you what, I'll deal with that. I'll report yeah. you for vehicle quitting in a second. Alright. Just get out of the road. What do you mean vehicle quitting? You've left your engine on. Yeah. And you've not been in your vehicle, it's against the law. It's vehicle I... quitting. Is it? Yeah. Is it really? Yeah. Is it? I'll talk to you about it in a second. Well, right? I just thought I'd talk to you about why yeah, okay. you're beating up people. Yeah, I thought I'd talk to you about that. Okay then, so I don't know if any of you said of uh, vehicle quitting but it's not actually called vehicle quitting. It's leaving a motor vehicle unattended, and it is covered under the Road v Vehicles Construction and Use Regulations of 1986. And it basically says, here, no person shall leave or cause or permit to be left on a road a motor vehicle which is not attended by a person licensed to drive it unless the engine is stopped and any parking brake which it, which the vehicle is required to be equipped is effectively set. So, it's 107. That's what covers this. And then obviously there's ex exemptions here for ambulances and that. But it's not all, it can also be covered under... This one, the vehicle traffic, uh, the road traffic vehicle emissions fixed penalty England regulations of 2002, which basically states idling, leaving your car idling. I'm not going to go through it if you want to go through it. It's too big. I can't be bothered to find exactly which one it is, but it, it's basically a, it's a fan up to like £90 fan. That is it. It's a max. It's a fan for leaving your car idling. A lot of places are starting to starting to fan people for idling the cars unnecessarily. There, it, it is in here anyway. It's somewhere I just can't be bothered to find it. But if you want to have a look at it, that's the act. If you find it, let us know in the comments so I can look into it again. I've spent nearly an hour looking up these two regulations. Turn the lights off, shall we? This is what PC Dicker does to people. This is what police officers do to people. Yeah, this is what police officers do. Yeah. 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 So I don't know what this child has done apparently she's 14 years old I don't know what she's done but this amount of police response and the heavy handed tactics the police are using here they're trying to stop everybody which is recording the incident and it's that simple. They've stopped this person from being able to see the injuries which has been caused through the arrest on this child's head. And they've, they saw the Anthony, they have now issued, they're going to issue him with a penalty notice for parking his car to record the incident. So in my eyes, this is just a, a bullying tactic to try and cover up their heavy handed tactics. I could be wrong, but that's what I'm getting from this incident. From this incident so far. Get out of the road. Mate, Billy, get out of the road. Door. Oi, on my car keys back. Get out of the road. Film it, mate. What are you doing? Oi, on my car keys back, please. Mr. Cross, no, I want your registration. One second. Wait, don't worry about that. 
Yeah, you're taking it. Yeah, you're taking it. Yeah, you're taking it. I'm going to report you for summons now for vehicle quitting, all right? And parking on double yellow lines. No, yeah, no, no, listen. You're parking on double yellow lines, I'm on it. Yeah, we're on emergency response, you're not. So, uh, listen, I, I, I listen, it's a, it's a, no, you. dude, listen, right. Anthony, it's Mr. Cross, isn't it? Which, yeah. which cross are you? I can't remember. I'm Anthony. Yeah. Anthony, yeah. right. I'm going to report you for summons um, for vehicle could, quitting. Could yeah. you describe yourself, please? Yeah, PC 23320, vehicle yeah. quitting. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, unnecessary yeah. obstruction. Obstruction? Have, yeah, unnecessary obstruction. Don't say anything, may I be close, you don't mention one what caution territory. Yeah. It's an emergency vehicle yeah, response. Yeah, but no, 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 it's not, it's not, it's not. You do not say anything, may I be close, you do not mention one caution, you will advise. And you do say you've been reported for seven, so I don't work for you, mate. You work for me, mate. Yeah, no, you're a public servant. You work for our community around here. You can report me if you like. I don't care. You are a public servant. You work for the community. PC dickhead. So is being summonsed, which it, most people don't realise a summons is you don't get fingered there. They'll send you a letter to attend court. But these incidents, what he has been summoned for, is just uh, fixed penalty notices. Rage quitting or qu vehicle quitting or leaving a vehicle unattended, whatever you want to call it, is a fine of £30. Uh, packed on double yellows, it's a, council, it's a council thing, not a police thing, but it's done in for obstructing the highway, which I can't remember what the punishment for that is, but I'm pretty sure that's just another fan as well so a summons to court it's pretty stupid it's probably just going to get fans for the for the for the post for the two things it's gonna summons him for but in this instance it is just rare retaliation for him being out there recording they obviously know him because they knew him by his surname but let's just carry on and see what happens PC Dickhead, yo PC Dickhead, see you later. PC Dickhead! How are we guys? PC fucking Dickhead, yeah? Right? PC Dickhead is what he does. This is PC Dickhead, guys. I'm allowed to park here. I'm allowed to park here. Right, guys, I will be back very shortly. I'm just going to go down here because he's going to report me through summons of me blocking the highway. I will be back very shortly into the car. I've got to walk back down the road. I'm going to go and get rid of PC Dickhead and his colleagues, right, for reporting me. Okay, then, so I don't want to be that, that kind of person which is going to say it, but I'm going to state the obvious here. He has been re summoned for vehicle quitting or leaving a vehicle unattended or and blocking an obstruction to the highway. So if they're that petty to doing for them simple little things, the fact that he's just jumped in his car, didn't put his seatbelt on and was driving with a handheld device, I'm surprised he isn't getting done for that as well. In this, in this situation, you if, after them saying they're gonna summon you for something so petty, you'd make sure that when you get in your car, you don't have your mobile phone in your hand and you stick your seatbelt on. Unfortunately for him, he did record himself committing these offences. So, if they really wanted to be that petty, they could seize his phone as evidence for the offences he's just committed. Of on. This is what the police officers do nowadays. This is what they do. They go around oh, bullying they're people. Tapped. They're tapped, aren't they? They're yeah, they're, they're all disturbed, a lot of them. Yeah, they're tapped. Move out of my way, please. On, you work for our community. They work for our community, remember that? How are you doing? Could, could you describe yourself, please? What do you mean, describe myself? Why yeah, could you, you describe what, like, myself? colour number, Hello, your name Mr. and all that. How are you doing? Why do you need my colour number? Yeah, because Am I doing anything towards you now? I don't need to provide my colour number to you. You've do got I? to describe yourself nowadays. Do I? Yeah, you do. Why do I need to? Myself. You can you see me on your camera, which you're recording. I'm allowed to record for my safety and your safety. You're, you're recording too. I'm not recording. I have no reason to record you, Mr Cross. But Is there anything that I can help you with? 
Why is, the, why is the police officer booking me? Because I stopped. Mr. Cross, is there anything that I can help you with? If yeah. not, please leave. Well, the police officer's beating a member of the public up. That's not acceptable, is it? And it's right. a young girl. That's Mr. Cross, please may I ask you to leave? Girl. Unless there's anything that I can help you with. Thank you. There's nothing you can help me with. Okay, then can I ask you... Why are you beating the community up? Can I ask you to leave, please? Mm -mm. Thank you. I'm allowed to stand here. I'm in... This is community, isn't it? Public. Okay then, so at this point, this officer is, well, constable is now giving directives, so she should have to identify herself. They clearly don't want to identify themselves. I don't understand why. You have interacted with a member of the public. That member of the public has a right for you to identify themselves, yourself. It is that simple. He has asked you to describe yourself, which is another word of identifying yourself. In this case, she didn't want to do it, saying I don't have to do it. But the minute you give, the minute you engaged with this member of the public and started giving directives to this member of the public, you should identify yourself. It's as simple as that. And their attitude towards him was very uh, unacceptable, not professional at all. Yeah. Oh look, guns! They've all got guns nowadays. Guns! You're gonna pull them out, are you? He's gonna book me for a summons. That's nice. What the fuck, I haven't took nothing. I actually haven't. Can I ask you a question? What's um, what's the summons? Fucking do nothing. Do me any time. What's the summons? Summons? Yeah, what's that? Instead of getting arrested, you get summons to court through the post and you're given a date to turn up at court. Oh, what, because I was parking up here alone? Yes, it's summons of all fence. Is it? I was yeah, on the, the fence. That, and the fact that you're out here with your mobile phone filming everything that's going on isn't really a reasonable excuse, is it? Well, it's definitely not one under the road traffic act. Well, I don't, I don't get why, the, why public servants has to beat up the community. Um, could you describe yourself, police officer? Excuse me. Yeah, we're what's calling them, all right? Oh, you don't? See what I mean, guys? This is our PC Baldilocks. Um, he's not willing to describe himself. Yeah, see you later. En enjoy the rest of your bullying evening. So in my eyes, this interaction was all wrong. The police are there just to intimidate and harass people for exercising their rights. Fair enough, this person did did uh, leave his vehicle unattended while it was running, which is against uh, a regulation or a legislation, whatever you want to call it. And he did create an obstruction to the highway, which is also an offence. But have you ever seen a police officer issue anybody a ticket for parking in disabled bears? No. For parking on double yellows? No. I have never seen a video of, apart from this one, of the police actually doing for somebody, doing somebody for leaving a vehicle unattended. So in my eyes, this was just a retaliation, retaliation for him their recording and obviously having, having his opinion. But like I said, this is all just my opinion. Let us know in the comments down below what you thought of this interaction. As always, like the video, it does open YouTube's algorithm, and I'll catch you on the next one.